Hey folks, this is Fernando doing a quick video for more survivalists. One of you guys asked me about how uh, these uh, kerosene heaters actually work for, for cooking, which was one of the functions uh, that they're capable of, at least some of the models. Folks, whenever I mention the possibility of cooking with a kerosene heater, it's because it specifically said so in the manual. It's not something I just came up. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that could be dangerous. The Aladdin Blue Flame Heater Model 42, for, uh, 32, like this one, is is okay for cooking, as it explains in the manual. It has a cover that comes off, and you can put a pot on top of it, just like that. Uh, took about um, I say between eight, 18 minutes give or take uh, yeah between 18 minutes and, and 20 minutes uh, so as to keep it safe so as to have one liter of, of water uh, boiling and it's not really the most efficient thing you know um, of course you're much better off with an actual stove but uh, again the idea here is the a multiple use application of, of a single gadget. The Aladdin Blue Flame Heater in general, I like it because of its quirky kind of looks and such. It's it, uh, pretty popular here and if you hang around on the auctions on eBay, you're likely to find one going for a, somewhat of a reasonable price. But like all things British, mechanically speaking, they can be uh, a tad too fragile, more complicated than they should be. That's, I don't know, that, that's the, the general way in which um, British mechanical stuff seems to, to go for, you know, it's, it's not always the most simple, uh, most reliable uh, solution. So that also can be seen in the, in the Aladdin. For example, um, a perfection heater would be maybe a little bit more rugged and, and more adequate for a uh, hard use. But, you know, that goes w with each one. You know, I like the, the, the you know, those imperfections about the uh, Aladdin itself. So, yeah, once you learn how to use it and learn to adjust the blue flame, as you see, it's, it's not always that easy to adjust perfectly. Too, uh, too little and it goes orange, which it should not be that way. Uh, that's somewhat correct and too much gets orange and yellow as well and the wick cleaner goes a long way in helping that but it's kind of hard to find the exact point with the um, uh, pots uh, uh, on top you know you still have ventilation and such but you have to make sure that the the flame is burning properly and in terms of, of fuel i'm burning actually uh white spirits or mineral spirit these would be uh, a possible alternatives to, uh, to kerosene or K1 kerosene or paraffin. So, you know, sometimes people think uh, the problem with kerosene heaters is that I don't have fuel nearby. Well, any supermarket, any hardware store will have a mineral spirits, a mineral spirit or white spirit in their shelves. It's not going to be cheap, you know, it's not going to be the cheapest way. But if you're going to be uh, doing this for um, emergency purposes, thinking of uh, blackouts, you know, uh, snowstorms, anything where the power goes down, you have a way uh, of staying warm, at least heating up um, a large room, a, a living room. Remember, you have a flame here, so you have to make sure you have proper ventilation. This is a garage, and there's plenty of ventilation even when closed. So you have to keep that in mind. Always use this with um, a carbon monoxide detector. You know, in, in the rooms where I would be using it, I do have one here. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be heating up the garage. This is just for uh, you know explaining purposes. That's, that's the only reason why I'm using it here. But in any room where you see yourself using a kerosene heater during a blackout, uh, you, you need a carbon monoxide detector just in case. If it's a, a large enough room, a little bit drafty or open to a, a hallway, then you wouldn't need to crack open a window. But uh, as always, it's better to just play it safe. Definitely don't lock yourself in a room trying to stay all warm with a kerosene heater because it's, uh, it's deadly. So 
the carbon monoxide detector it's mandatory along with a kerosene heater so that's basically it with with about 20 minutes you get um, uh, a good uh, amount of water boiling this is one liter of boy uh, one liter of water boiling in about 20 minutes 18 20 minutes with a uh, um, Aladdin Blue Flame Model 32 and uh, some of its variants. Uh, I haven't tried out with some of the other uh, kerosene heaters. Um, I'm not expecting that much better results with other heaters because the, the kerosene heater is first of all a heater and only secondary in some cases um, a function of, of cooking. Again, better than not having it at all. You know what I mean? If this is all you have, at least you will have a way of of cooking up at least you know heating up some soup that would be easy enough cooking yes it would be taking a little bit longer yeah, until it has a, a good amount of boiling water the lid is uh, gonna be helping that quite a bit you know but yes it's entirely possible it says so in the manual so <laughs> not much of a big surprise and that's it folks just a, a quick review of what these uh, kerosene heaters are, are capable of Folks, remember to subscribe, share the video with others. Have a great day. See you in our next video.